Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Tech Beans, and today we're going to be having a gaming review for the Vivo Y31, this phone. I had some initial reviews for this phone, and yep, it's a great phone for the price. But today, we're going to be doing a gaming review for this phone. You might have already seen me play Mobile Legends on this, Call of Duty, and things like that, but we're going to be having more games today than just those two. Plus, we're going to see if the phone actually heats up, and if it can handle all the games at its max setting. Basically, we're going to find out if this phone can actually game. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the other games that we haven't reviewed yet in our channel. Asphalt 9, Drastic DS, Call of Duty, PUBG, Genshin Impact, the usual big games we see on the Play Store. And of course, we're going to be having a take a look at Gaming Pad right here, if it actually helps on gaming. At least on a smartphone. So, without further ado, let the gaming review begin. No. Alright, here we go. Now the first thing that you need to know about this gamepad right here is that it doesn't work with the game directly. You're gonna need a mapping software just like Octopus. But unfortunately, Octopus was banned by Moonton. But that's okay. We're just here for the review of the Vivo Y31. We're gonna be still using this on our other games, just like the emulators and Asphalt 9. It works for there. But yeah, right here we've got the game. As you can see, it looks so beautiful. But I'm gonna die again. No. No Cho, I am going to bang you. Mm. And as you can see, the game was really smooth. No lag whatsoever, I just died really smoothly. Oh my god, detected. Wan Wan, going crazy. That's okay, this is just a classic game. But yeah, this is at high settings. There you go, that was a zoom out of the map and did not really lag at all. Actually, I'm playing on high settings and this is not even sweating at all. Look at that, there was so much happening at that time. Again, I'm not really being serious here. Of course I'm dying because I'm not really focused in the game. Don't bash me. I am a mythic player in real life. Yes, this is just a Korean account. As you can see, a Korean name. Not even sure if this is popular in Korea, but there you go. That is a mighty powerful release in wait. Okay, so I need to go back in the game or in the review. <laughs> course sometimes I'm just enjoying too much of this gaming review but yes the great thing about this phone is that right out of the box the screen is actually already very smooth you don't get that stiff motion when you're touching it oh what nani <laughs> yeah nani <laughs> am I in Japan but yes the display is quite smooth especially on a new phone like this the volume is not that loud I've already said that on my review. It's not too loud. I just wish it was louder. It's totally lacking the oomph that I want on a gaming phone. But hey, at least you don't hear your death that much. So here are the settings while I'm dead in the game. We've got HFR mode, shadow, high graphics, and things like that. And as you can see, the phone is not really sweating at all. And it can pretty much play Mobile Legends very easily. Now, one more thing I like about the phone is that it has a very smooth back. Very nice and matte finish. I actually find it very comfortable for playing long periods of time in this game. Yeah, that's right. There are some phones that are very kind of uncomfortable when you're playing with them. Well, maybe because of that curved back. This, not so much. Maybe it's because of that curved, comfortable back on this phone. Okay, so I'm already feeding right here. So let's move on to our next game. I'm sorry guys, I have to leave right now. Going AFK. Okay, now it's time to play our second most popular game in the Play Store, which is Call of Duty. Trust me, I am not good in this game. Oh my god. Now like what I told you before, this phone has a very long body. Man, I'm actually getting good at this. Look at that. Or maybe my enemies are just noobs or bots. But who cares? I'm winning this. Now the great thing about the display is that since it's quite long, there's a lot to be seen on the sides, especially at the center of the game. And check out that graphics. Wow, I wasn't expecting this from a phone that has this kind of processor, the Snapdragon 662. That processor is not super fast, but because of this, I'm like, whoa, this is like really possible on a low-end mid-range processor. Really, look at that. I'm not getting 60 frames per second here. It's probably 30 frames per second. And yes, I am playing at the max settings of available on this device. Very high settings, high frame rates. Whoa! Have you ever seen that on Call of Duty? That was just a few seconds. And as I'm showing right now, this game has a lot of things going around. Lots to render, there's so much detail in the background. For a mobile game, this looks really gorgeous. Wow, what a remarkable game for mobile. And yeah, I think this game has a lot of potential, a lot of charm to it in the near future, but I don't think it's gonna eclipse Mobile Legends anytime soon because I don't see a lot of influencers playing this game just because of that. Also, the Octopus app was banned by the developers of this game. Bummer. Okay, so here's a game that actually works with the gamepad. Turn right, turn left. 
that works. Well, that's because there is actually a built-in integration with gamepads with this game. And racing games like this really do benefit from these kinds of controllers. They're much easier to navigate and it's just a lot more fun. Now, in terms of graphics, well, this is actually quite decent already for a Snapdragon 662 processor. Very, very decent. Although, it's not the smoothest experience. As you can see, there are some frame drops here and there. You might want to tweak the settings quite a bit here. But then again, this is quite beautiful. The game looks really pretty and it's quite playable. That is what matters. The playability of the game. And now we're going to play PUBG, the most popular game a few years ago. Now it's not anymore because it got banned in India where most of its users... Why India? Whoa, it just crashed. What happened? <laughs> this is like a forgotten game. I haven't reviewed this game for about over a year. Wow, that's a long time. This was the game a few years back. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty much playable. Gotta say, there, there's so much that has been done with the graphics. This is actually not the same game. Yeah, it doesn't look the same. It looks a lot more beautiful now and a lot more empty. There were a lot of people here before. Unfortunately, they're gone. But yeah, here are the settings if you're asking. Whoa, UHD? What is that? I can't press those. So currently, the phone only supports about balanced graphics and medium settings and medium frame rate. So there you go. It's not too fast, but that is going to do. I mean, like I told you, it's not about these settings. It's all about playability. And right here, I'm able to play the game. No problem. Just not the smoothest experience. And also the developers have banned the gamepad as well for this game. So you won't be able to use the gamepad. Not unless you pay for the Panda version or the pro version of the app. So far so good. I'm not even dying in this game. Just punching my way to victory. Where are you going? I don't even have a knife. Well, at least in Call of Duty, I have a knife. How is that even possible? What the... This is actually the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my reviews. Punching my way to victory. <laughs> there you go. He's dead. Or she's dead. <laughs> Wait, there's someone else shooting. No! Look at that, my health bar. This must be easy mode. They are going easy on me. What is happening? <laughs> what in the world just happened? Oh, by the way, we do have the ultra gaming mode on this phone. Uh, it's like your usual game mode on other phones or brands, wherein you can block the notifications, the calls, turn on esports mode, just, you know, activates everything, blocks all the notifications, calls, optimizes the game for better performance. Yeah, you just swipe left to access that. There you go. That is the ultra gaming mode panel. Lock brightness. Oh, right. You can even lock the brightness. And that is actually a dial. Pretty neat. So here's where the gamepad actually makes sense. In emulators. So responsive. Okay, I'm gonna pick Jin because he's the hero of this game. I think. And boom, 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 boom. Jin is the hero of this game. Time to save the world. Okay, so as you can see, 60 frames per second, consistent on this game, even with just the Snapdragon 662 processor. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this phone also has 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, so you can totally install a lot of games here. 128 games is a lot. Very responsive. Look at that. Do you even do this? <laughs> That's how I play Tekken. Just button mash everywhere. See that? That makes me look like a professional. <laughs> what are we called? PPSP emulator. It is a PSP emulator for Android. And it's got built-in mapping for gamepads like this. And I didn't even have to map anything at all. It just ended up like this when I started out. Now if you think about it, console gaming or at least the PSP is not even that heavy at all. The frame is not even dropping. Man, this game is super light. Now here's a game that is truly a thing of beauty. Pokemon Black and White. I'm using the Drastic Emulator. And as you can see, wow, that is quite responsive. How fast. The 3D rendering is just so smooth in the battle. This emulator also has some gamepad support. So that's why it's, it just works pretty perfectly. Okay, so whoa. Just look how smooth this game is now. A few years back, this was impossible. This was super slow on most smartphones back then. Must be the optimizations for this software or this game. But then again, this tells me that you don't really have to buy anything super expensive like a true game phone just to enjoy Pokemon like this on your mobile. Okay, so this is the biggest, most graphically impressive game in the Play Store. If you have not played this game yet, like ever, this is actually the best game right now in the Play Store. Best in terms of gameplay, storyline, a real open world. This has got everything a triple A game should have on mobile. And sure enough, this is really playable on this phone. The Vivo Y31 is definitely, surprisingly, a well-optimized phone for pretty much any game on the Play Store. However, this is only the lowest settings. I'm just able to play this smoothly. 
just because I have totally dropped settings to lowest and bumped up the 60 frames per second setting so that it looks this kind of smooth. And by the way, about the Octopus app using the gamepad, it's actually available on pretty much every major title on the Play Store, just that you need to pay some more. I'm not gonna pay extra for that. It's actually available on some legit gaming phones. So why waste your money on that? If you can actually just play with your phone, the display does not have any lag, no delay. This is actually how they program the game, which is it is to be played with the display and with touch support so if i were you i would just play the games in the play store with just the display alone it is simply sufficient but if you're gonna play some emulators i would highly suggest you do get a gamepad it will take your gaming experience to the next level so, oh wait my phone is actually getting a little bit warm just a little bit not too hot that my hand is actually in pain no it's just warm and yes this phone is just too heavy for most smartphones and yes this is just pretty much warm not too hot and i actually just noticed this on genshin impact Besides this game, there's really no other game in the Play Store that really heats up. The phone was pretty cool with Mobile Legends, Call of Duty, PUBG, Asphalt 9, the emulators. It just began to warm up in this game. Goes to show you how heavy this game is. Really, really heavy. But what's not heavy is the price. The Vivo Y31 only costs 12000 999 pesos only and it already has 8 gigs of ram 128 gigs of internal storage you can definitely install a lot of games here and performance wise it is just really really good and if you want to check out this gamepad right here we're gonna have a full review on it i just cannot show it yet on this video probably in a future video so let me know guys in the comments below if you want that full review of this gamepad and if you want some crazy tech reviews unboxing videos just like this all you need to do is subscribe hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content this is vince domingo from deck beans and i'll see you on the next video